Hello, hello, welcome to the last little bit of Retro Thought. I am uh, King Rhodes Tian, and we've got our little Sonic Block going, and I think we've got a little bit of a, a bad Sonic Block. The games I'm playing, there's a good chance that you may never have heard of some of these games. Uh, so we're going to jump into the first game that we're playing today is going to be Sonic Labyrinth. This is a Game Gear game. Uh, and we're just gonna kind of jump into it and explain how's it, how it goes. It's gonna be pretty interesting here So let me make sure I turn on my hotkey so I can actually run the timer. All right now We're good. So we'll get started in three two one go. All right So Sonic Labyrinth is essentially a puzzle game where all we're gonna do is pretty much roll and bounce off stuff so the lore behind this game is Eggman has given Sonic speed down shoes. So he is unable. I'm on the wrong side here. This might work. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we got speed down shoes. So then, therefore, we actually have to roll. So if you see me walking, it's actually the slowest movement. We don't actually get to run. Um, and we had the first instance of the, the taking damage in this run. So we don't want to take damage. But if you take damage, you get rid of all your keys. The goal of this game is to collect three keys in each stage, then get to the end, then you move on. After the fourth stage, or going to the fourth stage, there's a boss fight. Uh, and then after the boss fight starts, it over, rinse, and repeat. So we're hoping to not get hit anymore. That's not a great start there. But we're going to do a lot of uh, technically spin dash, and this is the fastest way to move around. We're going to hopefully do a bunch of cool little kind of bounces and rolls. So we got one right there. We grab the key right off the bat. We're going to roll to the back of the stage, hit these little jump pads, and we're done. Go for one, well, we'll go for one, two, there we go. So again, this is, uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. A lot of you may not have seen this game before or seen a speed run of this game before, especially. Uh, I picked this up within the last year. And uh, we, I went through and learned a bunch of the actual like strats in kind of the D-Rest preparation of bounces off some, some good walls. So we're hoping to pull some off stuff off. And this is the in instance here. We're gonna hold right when we come out. We're gonna let go of everything. And when we hit that second bounce, we're going to let go. So as we did that right there, we supposed to grab the key. So we just missed the key. And we had to go back up. Uh, I used to do a completely different route to that, but it's faster to go to the top part first because then we can work our way down. We missed the key right there. We want to get on the right side of the square and it takes us up to the top where we go. So the third key is where it ends, but you can kind of go up and around and it's faster to do it that way here. So again, we're going to be ton tons and tons of rolling. And the boss stage is kind of a half outer scroller than half boss stage. So the first part of the stage, we're just going to grab rings. So how rings in this game work is essentially if you get hit with rings, you lose them all. No matter how many you have, you cannot pick them back up. But then each boss stage is going to have some loose rings. So I'm going to grab a set here. It doesn't really matter how many I grab. I'm going to hold all the way up and I'm not going to press any more buttons. We're just going to roll all the way down. We don't need to worry about getting rings once we have some. So if we take damage, we lose them all. There's gonna be a singular ring in a couple corners, so you can use that as extra hits if you need it. Hopefully we don't. Uh, this boss will have a tiny bit of RNG, I think, towards the beginning of it. Uh, hopefully I don't get bounced out of the a random direction, so we'll see here. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roll all the way up to dodge these little enemies here. So this is just the first phase. A lot of bosses have kind of this phase where it just shoots little mini miniatures of itself. So when it pops up, I'm going to hold down and I'm hoping that I don't get hit by any of these like little bombs that I can stay in the middle, which looks good. And look at that fight is done. Sometimes those little bombs will bounce you sideways and then you get thrown off. Um, after a little bit, if you don't kill him in the middle, he'll move to the side and he'll kind of like teleport around. So killing him in the beginning spot. Fantastic. So that was a awesome quick boss fight. We take those. All right. So now we're going into act two, I guess. We're going Labyrinth of the Sea, so each stage is Labyrinth of the... And you kind of go from there. So this one has a bunch of cannons. If I mess up a cannon, it's a long way back to uh, get where you're going, but we should be good. So the interesting thing about this run and me, so I learned this run without doing a casual playthrough. And what I mean by that is I... That is super unfortunate. Um, three keys are missing. Um, there's two. Third should be up here somewhere. 
Oh, third down here, I'm, I'm, I'm done. It's all good. What I was trying to say before I rudely interrupted myself, there's a third key, is I honestly just played this game in anticipation to learn the speedrun. Um, I watched the speedrun right away. I have no casual playthrough. I didn't go through and explore the levels. I didn't care about fine stuff, secrets, whatever it was. I just straight up watched the speedrun and tried to play the game um, to be as fast as I could. So there's, t there's a few of these levels that if something were to go wrong and I get lost, it's very hard for me to come back because I actually don't know the, lay the layout of the levels outside of what I'm supposed to do for the run. So we're gonna kill the enemy first. We're gonna lose the key. The key is gonna go to the bottom right of the screen. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna get this and hopefully go fast enough to where the key is still there, right here. There we go. So we didn't have to go back and collect it. It's faster to go through and do that. We'll do that one more time, I believe. Where we're gonna kind of leave a key and then kind of come back to it. Uh, but we're gonna get out here. We're gonna go up and there's the exit force two two. So that is halfway done with the second act. Uh, act three, I have a chance um, in some practice runs. I've had some weird bounces that's taking me in the stage. You got to backtrack. So I'm going to take this kind of normal, I guess, and go a little bit slower to make sure I don't mess up where I'm supposed to go second here. So we're going to do that. Because before, if I come out holding left, you can get a bounce off a wall and kind of go around this enemy and you get landed perfectly. But I'm just going to kind of walk and make my way here. There we go. And then you can hold one button and you get all the way down. Come on, go away down there, Sonic. Thank you. Perfect. Right here. We're going to hold up. Get all the way around there. Then we get to go to the bottom of the stage. Here, oh, there's spikes. We're good. Okay. Perfect. I can get there at about a 159 if I get the good first bounce. But again, we wanted to go slow because if I miss the, uh, the first key, then what happens is I go basically to the end of the stage and I got to kind of traverse all back around. And we don't want that. So there we go. So we're back uh, to done with that. Now we got two, four boss. This is the worst boss fight in the whole game. This boss is essentially the run killer of all run killers in the whole game. If you're going to have a, a level. So there's a few levels in this game coming up that are kind of my trouble levels, if you will. But for boss fights, this is RNG. Uh, so what's going to happen is the same thing going to happen here. We're going to grab some rings. We're going to go to the top of the screen and we're going to do nothing once again. And we're just going to roll all the way down. Now, this is the, the boss that a, he's a crab boss, right? So at the very beginning, he's going to shoot little crab minions at us, kind of like the other boss had the little minions of itself, all right? Then it's going to stay on this top level, this top floor, and it's going to randomly open up at one of three entrances, and we're going to try to time when we can get this. Now, you can get it a two or three cycle if you're really lucky. However, a lot of times, I'm hoping just for one hit each time, which would be ideal. So I'm going to be in this top right-hand corner. Once he's done shooting, you're going to hear... A noise there it is there's one I got I think only one hit from that nope I went too early I thought I hit it I got it though uh, nope hey I'll take that oh we'll take we take those that was a pretty clean fight it looked pretty dramatic I made a little bit but we're, we're still good we're still good but that boss opens up randomly and it can stay open kind of randomly as well. So it's it's nice. It kind of cooperated with us here. The next two boss fights are boss boss fights. Boss fights aren't too bad, but the stages get a little bit harder. So now we're in three one. So I'm gonna hold all the way up here. I'm gonna go around and we're gonna kind of skip around here a little bit. I got the key early. Let's go. And normally I wait um, for that little snake enemy to go to a different spot. I've been practicing on getting them a little earlier, which fantastic job there. So we're going to hold right. As you hold right, Sonic will move a little bit on those little tiles, a little bit farther versus standing still. And then we're going to the second key up here. So then this key, so normally what I used to do is I used to get this key, this last key we're going, we're getting next. Now this, this enemy here can troll the crap out of us. I'm hoping to avoid that, which I do. I'm going to go nice and slow. That's fine. Perfect. Uh, he shoots missiles. There's a, the green floors make you go slow when you roll on them, but there's a trick to where if you come out of your spin dash and like stop it and slide, you can slide over those tiles. Well, if you slide over those tiles, a missile can hit you. So we took it a little bit safe to not lose more time. So that works. Uh, three, two, I think three, two, I have a chance of dying here. I'm gonna go for the fast strat. Yeah, that's fine. I, I got it, let's go. So the, that's the only time I should die in this run. Uh, could die 
is if you don't make the platform you fall to the pit and it has like lava and spikes on the bottom and it shows sonic just falling into it and dying so if you miss that platform like it's just really tight cycle there um and I'll, i go for it every time and you can die it's only like a seven second time loss or so um if you do die you do have to start the stage all the way over um, but it's the beginning, so it's worth the risk. There's our key right there. We're actually just gonna skip this key because it's faster to do what we're about to do right here. So we're gonna go around this power up and we're gonna get the second key. The reason we skip it is because when we get the third key, it stops it and Sonic does a little like, haha, I got the key animation. If I do that here, I can't bounce off the wall backwards. So instead, we're just gonna do that. So that way we can bounce back and make that section a little bit quicker. And that way we get this third key right in front of the goal and it lines us up perfectly. We do our little dance, and then we get our goal. So a little bit of routing there. We, I used to grab that second key too, not thinking about it, but knowing, hey, I actually get my bounce back, it's just a tiny bit faster. Not a ton, but just enough, you know? So that is, uh, that, I believe that was three, two, three, three is one of my favorite levels, and it is my one of my worst levels to play. I like the way it, when it, when, it, when you play it well, it's fan, it feels fantastic, uh, but a lot can go wrong here. So I'm gonna hold this down and go all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna try this trick, this hold. See how I dash through that and I let go of the spin. I was able to go over the green piece there without um, getting slowed down. So that's actually really, really good. And now we're gonna bomb. So if you've ever played this game, this game is legitimately an entire maze. I never would have known to stand here and wait for this platform. Like, why would you have known to do that outside of it just being an open area? But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold right. As we hold right, you can see there's a dark green tile or dark blue tile. We're gonna get in that tile and we're just gonna hit down. That allows us to kill that snake enemy without it going around anywhere. And then we slide right into the goal and we're done. So that was as perfect as I can do 3-3. Three, three. That was fantastic. But there's tons of times that I can get hit on stuff. Uh, I lose my, my keys. You kind of fall into the pit, whatever it is. So the, the optimizations is, is nutty for what we can do here. So we're gonna go to this next boss. This next boss is probably the easiest of all the bosses. However, I say that and almost screwed up in a practice run, but this level is different. We're not gonna go up, now we're gonna go down. And again, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna sit here and we're gonna roll. So this boss, uh, we basically we just camp in a corner. And it's kind of him in the back. The whole, his whole gimmick is the him in the back, but you can kind of get into a corner around his little minions so you don't get hit before it. And you just kind of wait it out. Oh, <clears throat> so the thing about this game, though, is, again, I'm still pretty glad that I never had that quote unquote casual experience because uh, when I show you these next couple stages, some of these these levels are terrible. So when you think you've entered a door, right, normally you enter a door and you go back through the door, you end up in the same spot. That's not how these levels work. Uh, I kind of screwed that up a little bit and that's fine. Oh, uh oh, can I clutch this out? Oh, oh. So this is what I get for talking crap about the game. I, that's what I get for talking crap. I said the easiest boss. We went through the boss, which doesn't actually happen normally. So we gotta watch our spin again. That's not a huge deal. However, it's an unfortunate time loss because we just have to watch this section again. So the what you're supposed to do is stay behind the boss. I don't know why I got moved a little bit left and right. So as you're spin dash or as you're rolling, you can actually control Sonic a little bit. And what happened is I kind of held too much. Now. A Game Gear only, I believe, only has four directions on there, and I'm using a Xbox One controller on an emulator, and it's got, like, you know, the 16 directions or whatever. So I think I, what happened is I end up fat fingering a uh, corner, and we, we uh, went rolling there. Lost a headphone. So let's see if we can do this the way we're supposed to, all right? Let's, let's actually do this the right way. So see, Sonic's fed up with me here. Okay, I apparently am killing, I'm canceling out my momentum too early. Come on, boss. Jeez, the easiest boss, and we're just all over the place. My goodness. Yeah, the, the games, the, the games always hear us talk crap. And you, you Labyrinth, Labyrinth Zone and Sonic 1 and all them. Labyrinth again, you can never talk trash about these games. These modes, they know how to get you. But now we go into the final area. So there's four more stages left for Labyrinth of the Castle. Uh, the first stage is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're gonna line up on ourselves with a couple of these lines right here. We can bounce from one side all the way down to the other. We're gonna stop ourselves, get on the middle line here, do the exact same thing to get the first two keys. We're gonna stop a little short there. We're gonna pass the guillotine. 
Guillotine ain't gonna cut our head off. And we go to the third key, up into the top right there. Now, it's just past the spike, so if you actually walk forward before you spin dash, those little spears will, will get you, and the keys will separate. So there we go, so that's 4-1. Now, 4-2 is not a, not a terrible stage. 4-3 is the stage that can give me the most problems. 4-3 um, is truly the, just truly evil. So all those doors, what I was getting into before that other boss really killed me, um, is that the doors, once you enter them, they actually lead you to different places. So you can re-enter the door and you're taken to a different part of the level. There we go. So um, let's focus on 4-2 while we're doing it because I, I will do something stupid and die here thinking about 4-3. So this level, most of the doors cooperate with you like they're supposed to. The good thing about this, and I had mentioned before, when you take damage without keys in this, the game is just relied on a timer. So essentially you only die if you don't fall off the map is when the timer hits zero. So I gotta make sure I go actually all the way to the bottom. I can pull up early and hit an enemy there. So when the timer hits zero, then that's when the level ends. Uh, so if you, if you take damage as I did before, you just lose time. You don't actually lose rings or, 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 or can die from that standpoint. Only way you die like that is boss fights. So here's a door. I entered it. I'm going back into the door. It's a different door. I'm going to hit it on off switch, which takes me to a different room. And this is where the last key will be right next to the exit gate. So I got a little bit of churn. We got lined up and we're at the door. The only cutscene in the game, we get a little clock with some birds. I don't really know how that works, but it is. But yes, but yes, the Big John. So Big John, I gotta give a shot to Big John. He's the reason that I wanted to run this game. Uh, so Big John holds like little tournaments for retro games and Sonic Labyrinth was in the in the tourney and I was like, I wanna learn the game because it's a Sonic game I've never played before. So that's the reason I did the speed run and I've seen that map of 4-3, it is insane. But we can do it hopefully nice and easy. So I just hold down to start. I hold down again and the first key is right here. We stop our dash, hit the spring, we go into the first door right here. So the first two thirds of this level aren't too bad, isn't too bad. It's this one room coming up. So I'm gonna bounce off the wall here, go down the slope, go down here into this door right there. We're gonna go up into the door to the right. Now I gotta make sure I hold upright and dash. There we go, we're good. You actually can fall off because of the momentum there and then it puts you into the different spot. So luckily that door actually takes you where you're supposed to go. We go back out, shoot to the bottom. I hold to the right, get that third key, and we get to the final area of the room here. We're gonna spin dash down the bottom, spin dash down there one more time. And there's the goal, four, three, done. I can now breathe because I hold my breath for that stage. That's terrible, I hate that stage. That was a lot. 4-3, man. I'm telling you, if I miss that that hold A when I need a spin dash in the room, it shoves you down. Then you get to all these weird doors. I get thrown off. It is what it is. But 4-4 now. Same thing as ever the boss fights. I'm going to go down my uh, little ramp here. Hold up top this time because if, uh, if you hold bottom or up on the wrong stage, there's actually little obstacles and you'll get hit. Uh, a lot of them have um, like little glass panels. These you can see are spikes. So they're everywhere. Um, so this way we'll be able to go right down. So this last boss fight has two phases. The only boss that has two phases here. And I want to say, if I didn't die in that boss fight, I'd actually be on a really, really good run right now. Uh, my PB for this is a low 18. So if we did not have that minute plus death, this has been a really, really fantastic run. So minus that, it's been actually pretty well. Most of my stages have gone uh, really, really good. So here's the stage one. He's dropping these little Eggman balloon thingy bombs. So then Eggman actually comes out, or not Eggman, but robot, whatever it is, and drops the bomb on you. You wait from the ground, you charge and you shoot him and you rinse and repeat on this, I think it's like 10 times. Um, we go five times with this thing and I think five times with another guy. I actually don't fully know the count. I don't ever count, that's three, let's count. Let's find this all together. Cause I just do it until he dies. So there's four, it's either five or six a piece. I can't fully remember. And sometimes I don't actually hit him on it when I think I do. There's five. Maybe it's six. There's six, okay. Then he changes to just his head and he shoots. Uh, that's not good. All right, let's focus up here. So he shoots his uh, like little laser out. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure we don't die here. We're gonna focus up because then I have to re redo that again. So we're gonna walk forward to make sure. I think we got one more hit, maybe. Yep, 
one more now. That was five, and this was six. And there's the emerald, and that is time. Whoo, a little bit sweaty at the end. But there we go. Uh, literally one minute off my PB, and I want to say that was probably a minute plus time loss, so that would have been a very close to a PB run. I'm super happy with that in the marathon. Uh, really, really good levels. I don't think we had too many drastic mistakes in the levels, minus obviously the, the death in the boss fight. So this is how the game ends. So there are Chaos Emeralds. I've never gotten all the Chaos Emeralds. I've never done the bonus stages. So we got all cleared. And then eventually it says, typical fashion, you beat the game, but it's not perfect. Try again because you can't get the Emeralds because you're bad, kind of stuff like that. So there was Sonic Labyrinth. So I hope you guys enjoyed that Sonic game. If you've never seen it, never heard of it, Again, it's for the Game Gear. We run this on emulator. Uh, we run this on, I think, Fusion. Or I run this on Fusion. That's one of the ones that's allowed. So we, we played on that there. So, yeah, that was the first. of four. I got four runs, y'all. Four runs back to back to back to back of all Sonic games. And there's, th again, three of them, I think, you may have never seen before. Um, including 3D Blast is one that I think you guys would have seen. But the next one coming up is going to be Sonic Jam on the Sega Saturn. It is probably gonna be the shortest run in the entire marathon so let's uh switch back and let me get that set up i think and uh we'll uh go there here in a few minutes